So, good afternoon class. Last, for the last two sessions, total of six hours, we have discussed the Bureau of Fire Protection and most of their operations. So, for this meeting, we will be discussing the Philippine Coast Guard brief history, brief background, and their operations. So, the Philippine Coast Guard with acronym PCG, in, in Tagalog, is Tanod by Bay ng Pilipinas. It is recognized as the third armed uniform service. So, when we say third armed, we have the AFP first, the PNP second, uniform service, and the third ser uniform service, the Philippine Coast Guard. It is attached to the Philippines Department of Transportation. So take note of this, ladies and gentlemen, that the Philippine Coast Guard again is attached to the Philippine Department of Transportation. So side uh, aside from the LTO. Again. So it is not attached with the PNP because in the PNP it has they have their Philippine Maritime Group, diba? the PNP Maritime Group. It is not also attached with the AFP because in the AFP we have our Philippine Navy. Yeah. So the Philippine Coast Guard is tasked primarily with enforcing laws within the Philippine waters, conducting maritime security operations safeguarding life and property at sea, and protecting marine environment and resources. Similar to Coast Guard units around the world, of course, and in case of a declaration of war, the Coast Guard shall also serve as an attached service of the Department of National Defense. So, means to say, they can work hand-in-hand -hand with the Philippine Navy under the supervision of the under the command of the uh, of course the President of the Philippines and the DND is under the office of the President and, and under the DND we have of course the AFP the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the AFP has three main branches. Diba? We have the Navy, the Air Force, and the Philippine Army. Yan. So in times of war, again, the Coast Guard serves as attached service of the Department of National Defense. It means to say, they can work hand in hand with the armed forces of the Philippines. Just like, of course, the PNP and the Reserve ROTC graduates. Diba? In times of war, they have their, they will have their rank, ROTC graduates. So, it currently maintains a presence throughout the archipelago with the 13 Coast Guard districts. 44 Coast Guard stations and over 190 Coast Guard substations from Basco, Batanes to Bungao, Tawi-Tawi, of Mindanao. So the Philippine nature of the Philippine Coast Guard functions lead to the separation of the Coast Guard from the Philippine Navy on March 30, 1998. So the Coast Guard separated from Navy on March 30, 1998. By virtue of Executive Order 475, signed by then President Fidel Ramos, the order effectively transferred the Philippine Coast Guard from the Department of National Defense to the Office of the President and eventually to the Department of Transportation and Communication or the OTC. And where LTO is also under it, the OTC, on April 15, 1998, by virtue of Executive Order 477.
So these executive orders provided inter alia that the PCG, Philippine Coast Guard, shall continue to be the agency primarily responsible for the promotion of safety of life and property, promotion of safety of life and property at sea. Okay. So at sea, protection of life and property at sea. So means to say, while we are at sea, it's the Philippine Coast Guard responsibility to protect us. And the protection of the maritime environment as mandated under the Philippine Coast, Coast Guard law and Presidential Decrees 600, 601, 602, 979 as amended. So the transformation of the Philippine Coast Guard into a non-military organization has a tremendous impact and significance. Its civilian character has allowed it to receive offers of vessels, equipment, technology services, cooperation, and other needed assistance from other countries. Why? Because uh, the Coast Guard also have their vessels, di ba? And meron din silang mga uh, helicopters, di ba? Which were donated by foreign countries. So something which would not be readily offered to a military agency. And so that was the one of the advantage of separating the PCG from the Philippine Navy. The donation from other countries. With enactment of Republic Act 993, also known as the Coast Guard Law of 2009, as well as its implementing rules and regulation or IRR, the Philippine Coast Guard has been vested with the, with the necessary authority and responsibility to perform preventive measures in ensuring safety of merchant vessels. And so they conduct maritime patrol to ensure safety of merchant vessels. The new law also strengthened Philippine Coast Guard's authority to meet new challenges and increasing demands for marine resources, technological advancement, and climate change. Further, the law has defined the Philippine Coast Guard rightful niche in the bureaucracy as the premier maritime agency and its vital role in nation building. So, the Philippine Coast Guard is the premier maritime agency okay, and its vital role in nation building. So, it has also its vital role in nation building. The Philippine Coast Guard is led by the commander, or commandant, I mean, by the commandant of the Philippine Coast Guard. So, we call their chief as commandant. In the PNP, we call him Chief PNP. Right? So in the Coast Guard, we call them, we call him Commandant of the Philippine Coast Guard. And directly reports to the Secretary of Transportation, the Secretary of the Department of Transportation, BOTR. In Maritime Law Enforcement, and also reports to Secretary of National Defense. In wartime, yan. So, in wartime, the Coast Guard will be reporting to the Department of National Defense Secretary. But during peace, it reports to the Secretary of the DOTR. So, the commandant is assisted by two deputies, just like the PNP, di ba? We have the Deputy Commandant for Administration and Deputy Commandant for Operations, both holders of the rank of Vice Admiral. So in the PNP, we have the Deputy Chief PNP for Operations uh, for Administration and Deputy Chief PNP for Operations. 
both has the rank of Lieutenant, Police Lieutenant General, three star general. So the Philippine Coast Guard's function, uh, functional command units include the following. So they have the Maritime Security Command or also known as the Mar Secom. So the Marsecom responsible responsible for overall territorial patrol, surveillance, and law enforcement operations of the Philippine Coast Guard. So when we say law enforcement, they enforce environmental laws. Diba? So the territorial patrol is for the preventive patrol, while your surveillance is for the detection of possible illegal parties Ayan, diba? for them to apprehend law violators surveillance they surveil suspicious vessels or happenings within a coast within the coast philippine coast so we have here another functional unit of the philippine coast guard aside from the marsicom is the MEPCOM or the Marine Environmental Protection Command. So, Environmental Protection Command. It is responsible for the overall maritime environmental enforcement, protection, and control through the maritime monitoring and enforcing maritime regulation operations. So, we have here the MEPCOM. So, it is in charge with the enforcement of environmental laws, protection and control through maritime monitoring and enforcing maritime regulation operations, MEPCOM. Aside from the MARSICOM, Maritime Security, and MEPCOM, the Marine Environmental Protection Command, we also have the Maritime Safety Service Command. So, with the PNP, its counterpart is the uh, RMFB, the Regional Mobile Force Battalion. In the province, we have the PPSC, the, Pili, the Provincial Public Safety Company. So, they also have Maritime Safety Service Command responsible for overall maritime surveillance for safety of ships, navigational surveillance, and ensures maritime freedom of navigation. Then, so they are also the ones responsible for uh, monitoring foreign vessels with intent of oppressing the Philippines. When you say oppressing, mana na ako. Okay. So the Maritime Safety Services Command. Binabatayin na, dapat walang pirata, okay? So they ensure that there are no pirates also at the sea. The Philippine Coast Guard used to be with the armed forces of the Philippines under the Philippine Navy before it was transferred to the Department of Transportation. The Philippine Coast Guard is considered the fourth armed and uniformed service of the country. Primary task with enforcing all applicable laws within the Philippine waters. Conducting maritime security operations, safeguarding life, property at sea, and protecting the marine environmental resources. So, due to the 2004 Super Ferry 14 ban incident in 2004, the Philippine Coast Guard activated the Task Force Sea Marshals, a composite team from the Philippine Coast Guard. AFP and the Philippine National Police. 
So, Task Force C Marshals is composed of the combination of the three agencies, the Philippine Coast Guard, the AFP, and the Philippine National Police. These sea marshals ride on their board the passenger ferries traveling to and from Manila and other ports and maintains a security presence aboard these ferries. And so they are also aboard, on board those ferries. What we call them? The task force, the sea marshals, the task force sea marshals. Sea Marshals. So we have here an image of the Coast Guard Aviation Force, then Cessna Grand Caravan X of the Philippine Coast Guard, and we also have Philippine Coast Guard's Airbus H145 helicopter. So the Coast Guard Aviation Force or the CGAF Aviation Force, then known as Coast Guard Air Group was formally activated on May 18, 1998 during the incumbency of Commodore Manuel I. De Leon, Philippine Coast Guard as Commandant, Philippine Coast Guard. Accordingly, Commander Noel O. Monte of the Philippine Coast Guard was designated as its first commander, holding office at the former Pad Hangar No. 3 Domestic Airport Complex of Pasay. So we need not uh, read those. So next to the Coast Guard Aviation Force, we also have the Coast Guard Special Operations Force. So they also have the Special Operations Force. The Philippine Coast Guard's Special Operations Force is the Special Forces unit of the Coast Guard founded in 1972. So the Coast Guard Special Operation Force performs underwater operations, domestic counter-terrorism. So when we say domestic counter-terrorism, their enemy are uh, local terrorists, domestic terrorists residing within the Philippine territory and other law enforcement operations. Some of their notable deployments and accomplishments include the operations of operations to the Lawag air crash at Manila Bay, the aftermath of the 2004 super ferry bombing, and search and recovery operations to the ill fated MV Princess of the Stars incident and the Battle of Marawi. So, what do we call them? We call them the Coast Guard Special Operations. Force. They conduct underwater operations and domestic counter-terrorism. So who conducts counter-terrorism? It's the AFP. Diba? But So their enemy are external oppressors. So foreign countries like China. If we are, if our enemy are domestic counter-terrorists, in within Philippine Sea, then it will now be the operation of the Coast Guard Special Operations Force. So the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary, another functional unit. The Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary is the civilian support group of the Philippine Coast Guard. Although a volunteer, so it's a volunteer, civilian organization, the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary uses a military structure for organized organizational purposes. Like other volunteer, sea rescue organizations around the world, it performs non-military and non-police activities in support of its national navy or coast guard. This endeavor includes search and rescue. Yeah? So our auxiliary can also do search and rescue, environmental protection, 
disaster relief. Yeah. They can rescue and they can also deliver reliefs, relief goods, and community service and marine safety. So they are unarmed, okay? They don't have arms, a Coast Guard auxiliary. They don't have arms, but they perform rescue, environmental protection, disaster relief, and community service to include marine safety. So the ranks of the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary follow those of the Philippine Coast Guard. So they also have their ranks. We have here Operation Brotherhood Montessori Center. It has a few officers that serves as leadership training teachers and cat teachers from this Coast Guard branch, CAT. Diba? So CAT ang tawag natin bago mag-ROTC sa college, di ba? CAT. The Philippine Coast Guard Officers Basic Education and Training Center. So, like the Training and Doctrine Command or the Tradox, Officer Candidate Schools or OCS of the Philippine Army, Philippine Navy, and Philippine Air Force, the Philippine Coast Guard also has their Philippine Coast Guard Officers Basic Education and Training Center with acronym PCG Obetsi or PC Gobetsi that serves as Officer Candidate School for Philippine Coast Guard Officers Aspirant. Officer Candidate taking the Coast Guard Officers course become probationary ensigns and after graduation they will be commissioned as regular officers in the organization so the, we call their institution their school the philippine coast guard officers basic education and training center In the PNP, its counterpart in the, is the NPTI, the National Police Training Institute. So, in the Coast Guard, we call it the Philippine Coast Guard Officers Basic Education and Training Center, or PCG, OBETC. So, Philippine Coast Guard's Officers Basic education and training center so let's talk about the philippine coast guard operations so what are the operations now of the philippine coast guard first on the list is the maritime safety for short marsa maritime safety so we have here an image of marsa Operations, Maritime Safety Operation. The Philippine Coast Guard is the country's vanguard against the, the entry of unsafe foreign vessels into the country through its port state control or a PSC. And at present, the Philippine Coast Guard has 14 PSC or port state control centers and 29 post state control divisions all throughout the Philippine archipelago. So the Philippine and the port state control, port state control center in Manila has the bulk of all inspections based on frequency of foreign ships, uh, ship calls. Pursuant to Republic Act 9993, the organization is mandated to enforce regulation in accordance with all relevant maritime international conventions, treaties, or instruments of which the government is signatory. And national. So, so what again is RA 9993? It is the 
Philippine Coast Guard law. So the Maritime Safety or MARSAF function is designed to help prevent or minimize unnecessary loss of lives and properties at the sea. Okay? So the purpose of this operation, the Maritime Safety, is to prevent or minimize unnecessary loss of lives and properties at the sea. Okay? So that's your keyword. The maritime safety or the MARSAF operation of the Coast Guard prevent or minimize unnecessary loss of lives and properties at the sea. The seaworthiness of every vessel leaving the port is ensured through the intensified mandatory pre-departure inspection. Okay. So how do the maritime safety perform their function? They conduct, of course, mandatory pre-departure inspection of all vessels, except the Navy vessel, which include compliance of vessels to safety standards and prevention of vessels from sailing for failure to comply with the standards. So, um, just like your LTO, di ba? Land Transportation Office, before before the renew uh, before the renew vehicle before the issue official receipt they inspect the vehicle but if it is if it is roadworthy now if the vehicle is roadworthy you should say it is uh, safe to be uh, boarded, they can renew the issue the official receipt. So, di ba? Yan ang trabaho ng LTO. Same is true with the maritime safety. We also conduct inspection to determine the worthiness of the vessel. So, they uh, conduct of random emergency readiness evaluation and operational readiness evaluation in the ports is also one of the functions of the MARSA. One of, the, one of the objectives of the MARSA. Conduct of regular vessels, safety inspections, and publication of notice to mariners or the NOTAM. And the implementation and enforcement of navigational rules and designation of sea lanes among others. So, meron tayong sea lanes para hindi sila magbungguhan. So, may nagbungguhan din sa ocean. Further, the Philippine Coast Guard is also responsible in issuing permits and supervise all maritime salvage operations. So, when you say salvage operation, save. Diba? So, if, uh, let's say for example, a vessel encountered a problem, instead of it droning, and, yeah, instead na malunod, perhaps we can salvage some of the properties na pwede natin ipalunod para mag-survive ang persons. So, it is mandated to destroy or to tow floating hazards to navigation such as but not limited to illegal fish traps and vessels. Yeah. So they destroy, okay, so they destroy floating hazards. Yeah. Rather than it can cause accident, sirain nila. And also, they do illegal fish traps. They destroy illegal fish traps. And of course, illegal vessels. So, moreover, moreover, uh, by the way, 
why do we call them illegal vessels? Because they don't have the permit. So, ano ba mga operation ng mga illegal vessels? These illegal vessels sometimes are used by <coughs> the uh, syndicate to transport diba? to transport illegal drugs. So, kung minsan, illegal vessels ang ginagamit. Aside from illegal uh, airships, airplane, airplane So, moreover, navigational safety is ensured by operating and or maintaining and servicing 565 lighthouses and more than 44 navigational boys yan yung mga boyan yung mga, mga lumulutang around the country which guide and ensures safe voyage to mariners so that is your maritime safety operations or the MARSAP so it prevents or minimizes unnecessary loss of lives and properties at the sea. We also have the Maritime Environmental Protection. So, how do we protect our environment? By planting trees and ensuring no leakage of oil. Yeah? By cleaning oil leaks in the Philippine waters. So, the Philippines is a signatory to the IMO Conventions on Maritime Pollution of 1973 and 1978 or the MARPOL. Maritime Pollution, MARPOL. The Philippine Coast Guard under RA 993 or the Philippine Coast Guard Law is the sole agency responsible for the Philippine implementation of the conventions with regards to oil pollution. Prevention, oil prevention, mitigation, and control through the conduct of marine pollution monitoring and control, enhancement of the Philippine Coast Guard capability, and oil spill response operations and enforcement of all maritime environmental laws and regulation. Now, so how do we protect again our environment? How does the Philippine Coast Guard protect the environment? By preventing oil, oil spill, oil or maritime pollution. Ano ba ang basic? What is the basic pollution in waters? It is mostly oil spill. So, bakit? Pag may oil spill, Sa waters, patay lahat ng yamang tubig, di ba? The fishes, they will all die. So, we call it MARET, Maritime Environmental Protection. The protection of our marine Resources against pollution. What is the most cause of uh, marine pollution? Oil spill. So next to MAREP is the MARSAR. So SAR, Search and Rescue. So MARSAR, Maritime Search and Rescue Operations. The Philippine Coast Guard pursuant to Public Act 9993, otherwise known as the Philippine Coast Guard Law of 2009, is the National Maritime Search and Rescue Service of the country. Okay? So I see that I say that again. It is the National Maritime Search and Rescue Service of the country. So, if there are persons needed to be rescued in waters, we call the Philippine 
Coast Guard. So one of its function is to render aid to persons and vessels in distress and conduct search and rescue in marine accidents within the maritime jurisdiction of the Philippines, including high seas in accordance with the applicable international conventions. In the, in the performance of this function, the Philippine Coast Guard may enlist the service of other government agencies to include, of course, our maritime group and also our Philippine Navy and other merchant marine fleet. And so, pwede rin silang tumulong sa rescue operations. The Coast Guard Command Center or the Sea Coast Guard CG Com Comsen. So, Comsen again stands for Command Center. So, the Philippine Coast Guard Command Center at the Philippine Coast Guard National Headquarters in Manila, by virtue of the current functions and facilities, serves as the coordinating center for all search and rescue operations. Okay? So, which serves as the coordinating center for all rescue and uh, search and rescue operations in, in the sea? We call it the Coast Guard Command Center at the Philippine Coast Guard National Headquarters. Okay, so it serves as the coordinating center for all search and rescue operations. Where? At SIS. Yeah, so Philippine SIS. So the 15 Coast Guard districts are designated as Maritime Rescue Coordination Centers within their areas of responsibility, while the 90 Coast Guard stations and 464 substations are designated as Maritime Rescue Subcenters or the MRSC, Maritime Search, uh, Maritime Rescue Subcenters. So, 464 sub-centers, 90 Coast Guard stations, and 15 Coast Guard districts. Okay. So, 15 Coast Guard districts. We have 90 Coast Guard stations, and 464 sub-stations. The Philippine Coast Guard's Search and Rescue Organization maintains constantly manned watch centers that operates 24 hours a day, continuously monitoring distress frequencies and conducting coastal foot and seaborne patrol within their area of responsibility. So they have foot and seaborne patrol. So sana foot? Sa beaches, San and Seaborne Patrol, of course, at the sea. There is at least one division or squadron of Coast Guard Auxiliary in each of the substation where a watch can be set and assistance can be obtained when required. So likewise, at least one deployable response team composed of Special Operations Group medical team, canine, and rescue swimmers is organized as at each Coast Guard district or the MCG, which can be dispatched immediately to any maritime and land-based search and rescue operations. So we call that, what type of operation again? Mar, maritime search and Rescue. Marsar. So, next to the Marsar or the Maritime Search and Rescue Operation of our Coast Guard is the Maritime Security or the Marsec Operations of the Philippine Coast Guard. Yan. So, they have their rifles with them. 
So the maritime security is another important function of the Philippine Coast Guard. Considering the archipelagic character of the country, it is vital to enhance the security of its different maritime zones to protect the integrity as a nation. In the performance of this function, the Philippine Coast Guard contributes to maintain good order at sea by conducting regular patrols and surveillance for the safety of navigational ships, the safeguard of ships from illegal acts, and to promote freedom of navigation, freedom from pirates, from terrorists. The Philippine Coast Guard is likewise mandated to secure exploration and resource utilization activities within the country's maritime jurisdiction, so within Philippine seas. And its sea martial program, the Philippine Coast Guard manages composite security forces composed of the AFP, the PNP, and the Philippine Coast Guard elements to protect the voyages of passenger-laden vessels in domestic routes. The Coast Guard also boasts of a newly established nationwide K-9 unit composed of highly trained sniffing dogs deployed in major ports throughout the country. Yeah. So they have K-9 to detect bombs, to detect illegal drugs, to detect contraband squared at the sea ports. So what again is the function of the sea marshals? So the sea marshals are composed of joint personnel from the Philippine Coast Guard, from the AFP, and from the PNP that detects what? Bombers, diba? In passenger laden vessels in domestic Routes. So, when you say domestic routes, travel within Philippine area only. So, next to MARSEC or the Maritime Security Mars. Yeah. Next to MARSEC or the Maritime Security is the MARLEN or the Maritime Law Enforcement. MARLEN. So, they enforce maritime laws. The Philippine Coast Guard is likewise mandated to conduct maritime law enforcement and they, of course if there are persons who violated laws they can apprehend those persons. Kaya nga enforcement. They have to arrest law violators too. So the Philippine Coast Guard again is likewise mandated to conduct maritime law enforcement or the Marlin and implement laws on fisheries and poaching, immigration, tariff and customs, forestry, fire, forestry, firearms and explosives, human trafficking, dangerous drugs, and controlled chemicals and to implement the revised penal code and all other applicable laws within the country's maritime jurisdiction and battle transnational crimes. Yeah. So they battle again transnational crimes. What are transnational crimes? These are again crimes that cross borders. What are the examples of transnational crimes? The smuggling diba? of drugs. Human smuggling too. Diba? Smuggling of persons. Those are transnational crimes, which the maritime, uh, which the Philippine Coast Guard also responds to. So the Philippine Coast Guard is authorized to board and inspect all, okay, all watercrafts suspected to be involved in or used in illegal trade. The Philippine Coast Guard personnel are also deemed agents of the Bureau of uh, Agrarian Reform.
D5, di ba? Bureau of Fisheries and Agrarian Reform. And Immigration, Customs, Department of Environment and National Resources. The Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. And the International Police or the ICPO. International Criminal Police Organization. In the performance of its maritime law enforcement function. So they are also deemed agents of these agencies. As maritime organization under 9993, the Coast Guard Law of the Philippines, it is deputized by 21 government agencies to perform maritime law enforcement functions directed toward the suppression of piracy sea pirates, smuggling, any type of smuggling, pwede rin ang smuggling, human smuggling dito, pwede rin ang smuggling of contraband such as firearms, drugs, and goods. Poaching, illegal fishing, illegal entry, of course, yung mga sinasabi natin backdoor entry of a foreigner to a, to a country, without proper documentations, walang pas pasaporte, walang visa, human smuggling, Yan. illegal lagging, drug trafficking, why? Why illegal lagging, by the way? Because of trees in beaches and because of the transport, of course, of trees through vessels so meron din yan drug trafficking gun running and terrorist activities within the water so those form parts of the activities under the maritime law enforcement so if they are deputized by 21, 21 government agencies they are also they can also perform the function of this 21 government agencies. Okay? So, to include here, BFAR, Immigration, Customs, DNR, PDEA, and Interpol. So, anong trabaho, anong trabaho ng BFAR, Immigration, Customs, DNR, PDEA, and Interpol, they also perform such. Bakit kasama ang Bureau of uh, Fisheries and Agrarian Reform? Because of the illegal fishing, di ba? Bakit naman immigration? Because of the human trafficking, di ba? And human smuggling. So what again is the difference between human smuggling and human trafficking? So when we say uh, human trafficking, the victim here is not aware that he is victimized. Diba? Ano bang human trafficking? Yan yung uh, na-auto ka, na fraud yung person. Sama ka dito, you'll be given good job in the Philippines. Tapos pagdating pala dito sa Pilipinas, wala pala siyang trabaho, diba? That's an example of the uh, human trafficking. Aside from that, Another example of human trafficking is yung pinatulog, pinatulog yung tao, tapos pagising niya, wala na yung isang, wala nang, may, may nabawas na sa kanyang internal organ, di ba? Binenta na. So, kidney, malaman. That's one part, uh, one of the examples under human trafficking. While in your human smuggling, the victim of human smuggling consented so sir nag consent nag consent siyang mabiktima may tao bang ganyan yes because he consented to his illegal transport here in the Philippines so wala siyang visa para pumasok sa Pilipinas pero nag backdoor entrance siya dito kumbaga yan so, pwede rin ang backdoor entry, pwede rin ang backdoor exit. So, from the Philippines, lalabas ng Pilipinas na walang 
visa. So, backdoor exit naman yun, di ba? So, that's, those are being monitored by the immigration. Yan, mga foreigner na nakakapasok sa Pilipinas na walang kaukulang papeles, di ba? It is being monitored by the Bureau of Immigration. So, why customs? Why? Because we also have smuggled goods, diba? such as foods, smuggled foods, smuggled vegetables, smuggled clothes, diba? na walang di dumaan sa customs. Pag hindi dumaan sa customs, walang tax. So, pag walang tax, pwede lang madispose ng mas mura compared sa dumaan sa tax, mas mahal. So, mas kumita ngayon yung mga illegal yung mga smugglers. Yeah. So, DNR, why? Because of the illegal lagging, transport of illegal lag, or products of illegal lagging. Diba? Transport of products of illegal lagging. Why PDEA? Because of the smuggling of illegal drugs. So, why Interpol? Because of the enforcement of international criminal laws. Yan, di ba? To prevent and interdict transnational crimes. Yan. So, what are transnational crimes? Crimes that cross borders. Okay? So, those are the operations of the Philippine Coast Guard. So, in short, we have here Marlin, the Maritime Law Enforcement, the Enforce Laws. We also have the MARSEC, the Maritime Security, the Ensures Safety within the Philippine Sea, MARSEC. And we also have the Maritime Search and Rescue, MARSAR. Because the PCG is primarily tasked with rescue operations in Philippine seas or in national maritime search and rescue operations. And the MARET, the Marine Environmental Protection, which aims to protect our marine resources water resources from pollution to which most of the marine pollution are oil spills. And last is the maritime safety. And which ensures safety within the Philippine seas with the aim of preventing or minimizing unnecessary loss of lives and properties. So, ladies and gentlemen, those are the operations of the Philippine Coast Guard. We will be having a quiz in relation to BFP operations and Coast Guard operations next meeting. Okay, so, should you have questions, you may send it to the uh, class representatives to be consolidated by the class representative and be sent or be uploaded by the class representative in our group chat. So that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and let's call it a day.